Hey guys, and welcome to a special Minecraft video. This is a little different from any of the other Minecraft videos I've put out. It's not an update video, and it's not the LP. But I guess in a sense it is sort of an update video. This is the SMP Weekend number 3 video. As I mentioned in, oh, one of the 90s for the LP, I was going to make a video and show off all the new changes and fun stuff that has been made on the SMP world since I showed it to you guys last, towards the end of chapter 8, I believe. So, let's go ahead and head out and see what kind... Yeah, I hate servers sometimes. Some of the new and interesting things we have. You might notice right now something above. Well, I'll be getting to that later. But first, I think I want to go and show off all the new structures. I'm not certain, but I believe Mr. 404 has done some updates on his house, so let's go take a look at that. Yes, he has actually started to deck out his place a little bit better. He still has this room back here, which, ah, he's finally turned into a farm. Very nice. And let's see, back here, so I recall correctly, it's just a very long tunnel that I believe he had tried to set a trap back here, but unfortunately he did not leave it well lit enough, so some zombies spawned and ruined the trap. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, moving on. Zorako was actually kind enough to actually build us a community farm, which I think is a really cool design. We've been using some sticky pistons here, and something that I didn't think was going to be possible, but I'm really kind of happy it is. Pist sticky pistons work with fences. So you get this really cool look when you want to make some nice uh, well, entries. <laughs> so this has been going pretty well for us. And uh, you may not recognize the name Zorako. He goes by a different name on YouTube. I'll let him be the judge of whether or not he wants that to be connected. But also you may not recognize it because he didn't have a house last time. But he does now. So, here we are. Zorako's humble abode. It's actually pretty nice looking in here. It's got the... Uh... That's interesting. <laughs> the torch on a fence on a workbench. <laughs> Got a bedroom in here. Not really sure what the dirt's for. I'm guessing maybe there's something hidden under there, but I think we'll leave that alone. Sort of a sandstone carpet for the bedroom. And behind me, he's got an interesting little kitchen here. And I gotta say, the half blocks really do kind of make this look very kitcheny, you know? Sort of got the laminated tile floor look to it. Coming along back here behind Zorako's place is the home of one of the guests that joined us for SMP Weekend number 3. And I gotta say, it is probably the biggest place on the entire map. But it's looking really nice. He's not 100% finished with it, so I hope he doesn't mind me giving off a little tour anyway. But he actually had a very interesting way... Uh... How get up. <laughs> That'll work. An interesting method of how he chose to get the building materials for his house. It's sort of a challenge mode, I guess, in a sense. Basically, you chop down one tree, and all the saplings you get from that tree are the only saplings you're allowed to plant, and from those trees, and so on and so forth, so you're only allowed to chop down one tree, and from that you must get your resources for everything else. But anyway, here we are, inside. And yes, it looks like he didn't quite have enough to finish the third floor attic. But overall, this is a really nice sized house. Really, really good looking. You can have lots of room to do all sorts of stuff with. And it gives you a really nice view of the whole town. And you can see just how far away he is from H.C. Blue's castle. And I've got my fog set as far as it'll go. Okay. I think we will go over there next and show off the next house. Okay, so here we are coming along right around past Sarah's house and just off from the main house. We actually have something else that I'm going to hit on the way. 
we have uh, Bomber's house here. A friend of someone who was around for SMP Weekend number one, I believe. Uh, he's actually got a pretty interesting setup. It looks like he's got not much going on in here. But if we head on down, we've got a pool and a fishing pond. And I gotta say, I have not ever really thought of a design like this where you fill the entire thing up and then you use the ladder to actually hold the water back. It's actually really kind of cool. Uh, the low ceiling probably makes fishing a little difficult, but I think it works. Now down here, we have a farm. I believe this one is meant, with the water flowing as it is, to, I don't know, dump water in the back and wash the seeds and wheat over here so everything comes on down and is easy to collect from right down here. And I believe down here he's not finished, but that's okay. There will probably be future SMP weekends for him to join in on and have some time to finish all that up. And, yep, the sun is setting. That means it is, it is time for me to do my admin thing and tell the sun to go away. Or rather, the darkness to go away. Okay. And now if we continue down the path, just before we get to the large house down here, this is Rabbit's house. This is actually one of my friends. Um, I know it says do not enter, but it's my server, so me. <laughs> uh, he's got some kind of cool stuff going on here. He's very interesting design for his lighting down the center. Um, just got a simple setup here with things. And down here, his favorite thing to do is to dig a very large hole to the very bottom of the game. You guys might recall the first time I showed off the SMP world that I actually came down that hallway right there. And I had no idea what I had walked in on. Apparently I had actually walked in on his house and didn't know it. Okay. I think before I go and show off too much of his place, let's go ahead and move on to the one I'm sure you all have been interested in seeing. This one. This one is probably the... I don't know. At least for size... I guess it's probably the third most impressive, because HC Blue's castle is just... It's coming along. And apparently it has a chunk error, because <laughs> you can see inside it right now. But this one for design, I think, just hits me as one of the coolest looking ones. Just a really interesting design. Um, anyway, this is Zion Steel's house. It's put a lot of time into it, and I think it deserves a nice full tour. Let's see, for those of you who have seen the episode in which I mentioned SMP Weekend, well, the Birthday Bash Weekend, you might remember me mentioning the outpost that was made. Well, he decided to put a sign up to remind all of, all of us exactly where to find that. Anyway, down here, just got your simple bed and furnace set up. Nothing fancy, just enough that it's a nice sort of, I don't know, Guest bedroom, almost. Anyway, up here, we've got some more storage. And a nice lookout all the way around. A very nice cobblestone deck. A really great view of everything. And I think that is hilarious right there. It's almost the reverse tree. I don't know if you can tell, but the bottom block is wood, and the trunk is actually made of dirt. So, <laughs> the reverse tree. Right, moving on upstairs to the third floor, more storage once again, and yet one more time, the wraparound balcony. Heading on up to the fourth floor, we've got the reed farm, or rather the sugarcane farm I guess it's called now. Um, I personally am not too crazy about seeing the dirt, perhaps he plans on putting a wheat farm here, but to me dirt is not a building material, unless you're going for grasp. I don't know. That's just me. And then here we head on up top to the, I don't know, I guess the observatory almost? The rooftop observation post. And again, with a great view all the way around. Anyway, I believe that just about covers, well, the top floors, the above ground floors, so... Let us head down and check out his basement. 
during SMP weekend number three, he spent a lot more time down here, making it really impressive. Now, the first level of the basement is really kind of fancy looking. All the glowstone, the lapis. Kind of a nice design, too. But now, we head on down. We find he has a farm, which seems to be doing pretty good. But the most impressive part is the size of this bottom basement. So if we head on down and around, look at what we've got here. And wow, what did I miss? <laughs> um, I don't even know. Uh, I guess, in case you couldn't tell, SMP weekend number three took place shortly after the piston update, so I guess this kind of turned into his lab. I do know that over here, we made a interesting free cake. Awesome! <laughs> it's also a suicide booth, so if you jump in and hit the switch, well, uh, we don't call it a suicide booth for nothing. <laughs> Over here, he's got an automated mushroom farm. He lives completely dark in there, and he just has this switch. Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if it's been long enough to grow anything. I doubt it. Oh, hey, what do you know? Nice. I guess it has been long enough. Hey, hey that's cool. Okay. So yes, water will actually wash mushrooms away, so all he's got set up back here is a very simple little thing where I believe right below this block, he's actually got a source block of water and then somehow inside, he's got pistons set up that will actually release the flow of water down probably the center channel here that ends up washing the mushrooms all the way out here for him. And I think with that, <laughs> that is the final piece to Zion's house. So I think I will go ahead and meet you guys at the next place. Okay, here we are, coming up on it now. This is actually Ninja's place. Or possibly Kaninja. <laughs> I'm certainly hoping he didn't log out while he was inside, because that makes it a pain to... Ah, good. To actually get into his base. Which he, too, is using the interesting fence and sticky piston trick. And he has probably got the most opulent-looking sandcastle I have ever seen. Just look at all that diamond he's using for decoration. And that's all legitimately gotten diamond. There was... There are no mods on this server. And... To my knowledge, he was probably not running a hacked client. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. So yes, a lot of very legit diamond. Back here, he even went ahead and went with a jukebox. And hey, what do you know? He managed to get a green record. Cool. We now have something to listen to. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Moving right along, here we are coming up on another house. This one, I'm actually not sure whose house it is. And I do realize that uh, the very large wooden house over there, I did forget to say that's actually myself again's house. And I believe Ninja and he are friends in real life, actually, so... Not sure why that's important, but thought I would point it out. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm not actually sure who's been building this place, and I don't believe there was a sign on it last time I was here. Um... That goes all the way down. I think whoever it is has a branch mine he's working on. Um, if this happens to be your house, please, by all means, uh, let me know in the comments section so we can all know. And over here, I believe this is Exist Frodo's house. For, he actually joined us for the first time on SMP Weekend number 3. And it wasn't until the last day he finally had time to actually start building his house, so... I'm actually pretty impressed with how far he's come with the little time he had. Uh, okay, keeps going. Nice. That's a nice sized basement. You can do a lot with that. Okay. 
Well, I believe, unless I'm forgetting something, in, in which case I will show you guys as soon as I remember, I believe that's about it for the town. Um, HC Blue has done a few things to the castle, but I'll leave those some semi-secretive. Leave it as a uh, interesting bonus for anyone who actually makes it onto the server next time to check out themselves, along with a number of other things that I'm also intentionally skipping over. Because, you know, if I showed you everything, what would you have to look forward to? <laughs> Alright, now, to finally explain what that is. I imagine most of you have a pretty good idea already, but I think I'll go ahead and wait and actually say it once we get up there. Okay, so, as if you guys couldn't have already guessed, this is our sky rail to the outpost, with an estimated travel time, too. <laughs> so, let us head on up and check it out. Let's see, I need a minecart. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's hop on in. And away we go. It's kind of a long ride, so I hope you guys don't mind. But it does give another really great view of town. There we are, moving along. It's a nice speed. Works so much better when you're the only one on the server. <laughs> Actually, probably work even ten times better if I had bothered to copy this world into uh, my single player, but whatever. <laughs> Playing on the server has its own interesting aspects. Ah, uh, and here we are. Let me go ahead and swap back into first person. I truly enjoy this tunnel. So, once again, going back to the LP, I did mention that they, the guys who ended up settling outpost number one, which I think it has a name, but... I'll have to double check when we get there. I actually ended up walking all the way out here, just like over a kilometer from town. You can sort of just see the edge of myself against house fading into the fog. And let's see, as the world generates underneath me, let's see if that one chunk that is always missing is still missing. Nope, it looks like it's actually going to be here this time. That's nice. Every time I was playing, there one of those ice chunks was always, just always gone. Don't know why, but always that same exact one. You know, we are starting to come up on the area with the outpost. The ride's almost over. Alright, so, welcome to outpost number one. Let's head on down the ladder, and I will take you guys on a quick tour of this nice small little outpost. Here we are, we have our safe way in to outpost number one. And of course, if you don't want the outpost, you've got options to go out and explore like crazy. Which actually, some people have already done, as there is already an outpost number two, but until we get a sky rail connecting from one to two, I'm going to hold off on showing you guys that one. Ah, so they did name it. Outpost number one is Nocta. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, you guys might remember the... Torch trick I showed you guys in my very first, and only so far, Q&A video. Well, one of the guys, I think Fidri, finally figured it out himself and went a little torch happy. <laughs> also, here, he was... I believe testing the invisible door, the hidden door or something. I don't know. Anyway, over here, we have a fishing pond. It's been dug out nice and deep, so you can definitely get a decent supply. Over here, we've got a birch farm. Here is actually Freeman's house at the outpost in Nocta. Not sure why he went with the pressure pad outside, but I guess since we're walled off, it's not too dangerous to worry about 
mobs walking up and trying to shoot you in the face through the door. Let's see, down here we have our farms. Both wheat and mushroom. And yes, I'm kind of glossing over the mushroom as I don't believe I've actually had a chance to show you guys my mushroom farm design in the LP yet, so I don't want to ruin anything. And yes, here we go. He made me a cookie with a diamond in it. Outpost number one was originally settled during the SMP birthday bash, so that's why all this stuff is here. There we go. Worth made a nice little fireplace here, and also handy for generally throwing things away you no longer want. <laughs> See, down here we've got our strip mine. Ah, that reminds me. I should show you guys the new state of the strip mine back at town. But, I don't know. This video has probably been going on pretty long so far, so... There's not a whole lot more else to this. Just some people's rooms over here. And some crazy dual pressure plate action. Both plates are actually completely wired. And Fiji has been doing some crazy wet red wire... Redstone wiring things. Anyway, like I said, outpost number one is not too big, not a whole lot to show off, so let's go ahead and head on back to town, and as we get close, there's something I want to show you guys. Okay, here we are. What I want to show you is actually right behind me, and you'll have to forgive me for the rain. Unfortunately, Notch has not given admins any way to control weather yet. And as I said, this is an unmodded server, so I have zero way of making this go away. Anyway, um, something to point out first. SMP weekend number three was actually held over July 4th weekend, which, as many of you know, is a very important uh, day for Americans. And to celebrate, we decided to do something a little appropriate. How's that? <laughs> and it's... I don't know, more or less to scale. We've got 13 stripes, 50 stars. So I think it's 50 stars, I never actually counted. But a full, gigantic American flag made of wool. And I think with that, I'm going to thank you guys for watching, for sticking around to the end of this video. And I hope you guys look forward to the chance to join all of us for the fun on SMP weekend number four, whenever that ends up being. Anyway, this has been Nocturne, and I will see you guys in my next video.